Hello, how's it going everyone? My name is Frey from Frey Darkness and today I would love to share a video with you on Call of Duty Ghosts information known so far. Now with the release of the multiplayer trailer yesterday, we've learned quite a bit more than we did previously. And I would love to share with you every single detail about every single instance of every single weapon, perk, etc. that we know. But that would make for quite a long video and I know you guys have things to do. So I'm just going to go ahead and right off the bat start off by stating all the weapons starting with assault rifles so with assault rifles we got the honey badger the APS the SC 2010 the SA 805 the M4 A1 making a return the ARX 160 the AK 12 the Vepper the FAD is making another return the MSBS and the R5 RGP Next on some machine guns, we got the UMP45 making a return. The MTAR X will now be making a return as a submachine gun. The Vector CRB will also be making its return. The CBJMS, the Bison, the K7, and the VBR will also be submachine guns in this game. Under light machine guns, we will have the Chain Saw, which looks very beast, by the way. The Ameli, the M27 IAR which looks like the M27 machine gun version and the LSAT will be making its return. Under sniper rifles we will have the L11-5 coming out, the USR, the GM6 as well. Under marksman rifles we will have the IA-2, the MR-28, the MK-14 EBR making its return as well as the SVU. Shotguns will be the MTS-255, which looks like the models 1887, and the MAW. Handguns will be the P-226, the MP-443 Gratch, 44 Magnum making a return, and the M9A1 making a return as well. For launchers, we will have the MK-32, the Panzerfaust, and the Castet. Under attachments known so far, we will have the Red Dot Sight, Silencer, Holographic Sight, Grip, Grenade Launcher, ACOG Scope, Extended Mags Akimbo, and new to the series, a Muzzle Break and Slug Rounds. Muzzle Break is set to allow your weapon for more distance, range, and more power. Slug Rounds are also there to give you more range and reduce spread on shotguns. Sort of like the KSG from Black Ops 2, you will not have more range and more power, however, you must aim accurately. For lethal grenades, we will have the C4, the canister bomb, the Samtex, the IED, the throwing knife, and the frag grenade. Under tactical, we will have the 9 bang, making its return, concussion grenade, making its return, motion sensor, making a return, smoke grenade, making a return, thermal barrack grenade, which is the only new thing here that we've known so far that isn't making a return, and the trophy system. Now, under lethal, I wanted to state that C4 is making its return. The canister bomb looks very cool. The Semtex, the IED, and the throwing knife, and the frag grenade really look cool as well. The Semtex now looks more like a flash grenade. It's, so it's more like a tube, and no longer has a spherical shape as it did before. As well as the IED, which is gonna be very cool because it is basically a Semtex mixed with a shock charge meaning you can chuck that anywhere and as soon as someone passes it its sensor will activate its charge and it will basically explode like a mine next up we got vehicles we got the Eurocopter EC-635 which hasn't been seen in the series before if I recall the MI-28 making a return the UH-60 Black Hawk making its return the MI-24 Hyde making its return and the H AH-64 Apache making its return we also got the Iveco LMV and the M1A2 Abrams making its return next we got the factions which is Ghosts and Federation these are the only two factions known unlike previous Call of Duty's where there's been multiple factions so far, it seems that the game is made up of entirely of these two fighting forces. So far, the characters we know are Hesh, Hesh's brother, Riley, Booth, Booth's partner, and Neptune. And I think we know who who Seely Booth is and who Bones is because he's she is his partner. Yes, Bones reference. Levels so far under levels we only have a couple missions which is no man's land into the deep and federation Day. now under weapons camouflages we got a whole assortment of weapon camouflage you can earn them in order and they all have different requirements different colors and different patterns which makes making camouflages fairly complicated so as the default camo 
we got a metal plated color. No pattern. Woodland camo is a five headshot requirement. It gives you green, tan, brown, black colors and is giving you a woodland pattern. For marine, you need 10 headshots, which is green, brown, black, beige, and gives you an ACU pattern. Desert is 25 headshots, town, brown, beige colors, and gives you a desert pattern. The Arctic camo gives you white, black, and gives you a, a spots pattern, and it's a 50 headshot requirement. The Navy camo is a 75 headshot requirement, gives you the choice of blue, gray, white, and black colors, and is an ACU pattern. The Urban is a 100 headshot, black, white, gray color, and woodland pattern. Fall is a 150 headshot, orange, red, yellow, brown, woodland pattern. Tiger is a 200 headshot, yellow, green, olive, black, tiger pattern. Hex is making its return with a 300 headshot, black, gray, teal, hex pattern. Rust is here with a 400 headshot, red, gray, white, orange, digital pattern. Digital is a 500 headshot, black, gray, dark, gray, digital pattern. Silver, so far unknown in how many headshot requirements will come in silver and black is metal plated gold again so far unknown is gold and black and is metal plated and as a prestige 10 requirement you get a custom camouflage which lets you customize all colors and all patterns together to create your own camouflage now some clan wars exclusive unlocks for camo you get blue tiger what you require is wins you get blue, black, dark blue colors, and tiger pattern. Red tiger, again, you need wins on requirements. You get red, black, dark red, and tiger pattern. Wasp, you need wins. Basically, you need wins for all these required, uh, for all these camouflages. You need wins as a requirement to unlock them. For wasp, you get yellow, black, white, and pattern is woodland. Pink, you get pink, magenta, crimson, black, ACU pattern. Flecton, you get orange, dark green, light green, black, spots, camo. Tribal, you get dark gray, black, metallic blue, and a tribal pattern. Veteran, you get green, blue, gray, dark green, desert pattern. And ghost, you get blue, white, black, digital glow pattern. So maybe ghost glows, or maybe that's just a name. So with that stated, we are moving on to perks. So, it's been seen, every perk has a set point value from 1 to 5, and you have 8 points to use how you want. So for example, I could choose 4 perks, each valued at 2, or 8 perks, each valued at 1. I could also choose to get rid of my secondary and my equipment, and get up to 11 perks. There are 7 types of perks, and each has 5 perks associated with the effect of type. Speed, Handling, Stealth, Awareness, Resistance, Equipment, and Elite. Some of them are somewhat recognizable at this time, and there doesn't seem to be any pro variants of the perks. But as now, as as of now, there are not many details about any of the new ones seen in the reveal. Moving on to kill streaks on August 14th in the multiplayer reveal, there have been 20 new added kill streaks. They are still selectable from the same strike packages as it was in Modern Warfare 3 in terms of assault, support, and specialist. Three kill streaks from the assault package are seen and used from multiplayer game footage on YouTube from the reveal. Three kills gives you a SATCOM, a portable device placed on the ground that uplinks to a satellite in orbit. Its effect is the same as the UAV, only enemies will now have to locate the device on the ground before destroying it by conventional methods. 5 kills rewards you with a guard dog. A German Shepherd K9 dog spawns next to the player when enemies are near. It will growl at their proximity. When the enemies are in sight, it will attack and kill them. This is a very much a ground based AH6 Overwatch from Modern Warfare 3 or the Escort drone from Black Ops 2. It even has a kill cam from the camera on the dog's back when the enemy gets killed by it. We also have the 9 kills. Killstreak, which is a Juggernaut Maniac. A C-130 drops a crate and the player opens it to wear the Juggernaut Bomb suit armor. The Juggernaut is different from the two in Modern Warfare 3. The Maniac has only the combat knife to kill enemies, but their mobility is very fast. They can sprint for a longer period of time and they don't suffer mobility penalties for wearing a heavy suit, hence the name Maniac. There are other killstreaks that can be seen in the multiplayer reveal trailer, but so far not all the details are known about the rest of them. There's an additional method of earning an extra kill streak reward via a C-130 dropped care package. Field orders are a blue briefcase picked up from a kill. If the player completes these field orders, they can call in a care package and earn a high tier killstreak reward. 
If they get killed before they complete the orders, the briefcase is dropped and can be picked up by another player. There are several field orders. Each of them are different and random. Each time the briefcase is picked up, such as get two kills while crouching, or get two kills while prone, or get one melee knife kill, some are easy, some are hard. One very powerful kill streak reward can be obtained from the field orders care package is the KEM. Odin Strike. It is similar to the MOAB from Modern Warfare 3, but has some different effects. A countdown of 5 seconds goes off before a massive meteor-like Odin strikes the map. The strike kills the entire enemy team one time and also changes the entire geography of the map. Then the atmosphere has a red tint like the radiation dust from the MOAB so far. Of the two playable maps from the reveal, it is only available on Strike Zone. And Moving on to multiplayer maps, so far the included multiplayer maps are Octane, Strike Zone, Whiteout, and as a bonus map, Refall. We have not seen any other maps so far, and the locations so far that we've seen in Call of Duty Ghosts will most likely be Mexico, San Diego, California, the Caribbean Sea, Caracas, Venezuela, Antarctica, South Atlantic Ocean, near Brazil, and Brazil. So, everyone, that is all the information we know so far about Call of Duty Ghosts. Now you are up to date with all the information that you must need to know. And I hope you guys enjoyed and learned quite a bit from this video. As always, thank you for watching.